All right, so we're gonna do a short video. So we got the Merrick Motorsports uh, tubes installed. We got a nice dead bug right on one of them right there. That's not a chip, it's a <laughs> nice dead fly. But anyway, some of you guys were concerned about the pass through here um, and getting water and dirt into the engine bay. And you know what, you are right. We did drive through some torrential rains the last few days and uh, we see here that we got a little bit of dirt buildup, which you can probably barely see. Let me get my finger in there on the wiper reservoir. So I've come up with a cool plan, which I hope will work. And uh, it's gonna be something super simple. There's a tube that's sold online, or, and I'll put a link in the description, uh, but you can attach it to here and then just use that tube to route the air wherever you want it to go. Uh, my, me personally, I'm thinking the best path is either straight down here or straight down back here. And the reason I'm going straight down is just to get air in the engine bay, but I want all the water and debris to come in and go down, not come in and spray all over my billet technology stuff or any other area that I have to keep clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this thing. It is the Spectre Performance uh, three inch flexible air duct. It cost me about 20 bucks from Advanced Auto and uh, you can get it on Amazon as well. I just wanted to go to a store real quick and pick it up on my way home. So let's see what happens. This what we have is a flexible hose that expands greatly. So you can actually put it wherever you want to put it. That's pretty cool. And it's got a rubber gasket on the end of it. And it comes with a spare rubber gasket. And we're gonna figure out what these are for in a minute. Um, I don't know. Let me start messing around with this and see if I can get it installed. This should be fun. I got you guys right on the edge in my way. Bring it back down this way. We're going to bring it back down backwards now. And yep, you can route it through here. Underneath the ABS. Oh wow, you can route it right under the ABS and blow it on the engine bay. but getting it in here now is the hard part. I wonder if I pull it all the way out and bend it all the way back. On the good side, there's a lot of pressure on it right now, so once I get it in, it's not gonna go anywhere, if I can get it in. Yeah, that's gonna work nice. That, Get a little more pressure on it. That's not going anywhere. All right, we got the dead bug off of there. So now we got air going straight in through here. It's hitting that back wall there. If there's any water spray, that water spray is then gonna fall down and settle in the tube and then work its way down and out the maintenance pan like I have it set up. So we'll go for an upper view here. This is currently held on by just the pressure of it sitting up against the uh, the washer reservoir. It's not moving, it's not coming out, um, but I will get a clamp on this. You're looking at a three inch clamp. Let's see if I can get one in black maybe. Even though this piece completely sits over it, maybe I'll just get a regular three inch clamp. But anyway, so what we're doing is we've routed the tube. So we took the tube and we inserted it bottom side first into here, brought it this way, brought it this way, and then we took this piece and then curved it straight in. Okay, so then we go underneath the ABS. It only fits in one location. You'll see it as soon as you get down there. Then we have it coming straight down. Let me see if I can do this without getting in the way of the camera. Straight down there. You can see the ribs of the tube. And it points, let me see if I can get in from this angle. And it points straight down into the maintenance pan. So that's the goal. We're gonna give this a shot a couple days and see how it works out. But if you guys are looking to get more air into your engine bay without the water, this is a really good option. It comes with an extra one, so I'll show you what it looks like. But basically this fits the inner diameter perfectly, and then this wall rams up against the outer diameter, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, you don't have to worry about it going in too far, and then you just clamp this whole assembly down. 
this install is complete just got to put all my stuff back together again it's a nice twenty dollar solution by specter performance i'll put a link in the description to it if you found this video helpful in any way uh, please consider gently pressing that like button if you're stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing and as always thanks for watching